Hey, how's it going guys? I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I thought we'd discuss the topic of bulking up. Now, I don't want to spend too long on the subject because I have covered it in the past. Um, I have a, vi a video from around two or three years ago actually titled Bulking Up. That might be a video that you want to go and search for. You might be able to get something from it. But for this video, I just thought would simplify it for those of you that want to know how to uh, bulk up through through diet, all right. And it's pretty straightforward. You just have to make sure that you are eating more calories than what you are burning, all right. That you are getting more calories in than what you are burning out, all right. It's that simple. So this means you have to be in a calorie surplus, okay? Now, the way I would do it, guys, if my target was 4,000 calories a day, all right, I would consume half of those calories in the morning, all right, and I'd have to drink them because um, you're not going to catch me eating five solid meals a day it's just not going to happen i can't even eat breakfast in the morning i'm rubbish with solid food so i would drink my calories in the morning so if the target was four thousand a day then you can bet the first two thousand calories i'm going to drink them first thing in the morning yes it's going to leave me bloated yes it's going to leave me feeling uncomfortable but uh who cares as long as i get those calories in at the end of the day I ain't too bothered. Now, throughout the day, I'm going to be sipping full fat milk, all right, not water, okay. You need to be drinking full fat milk. I swear by drinking full fat milk. A lot of the old school guys used to do it. More of the new school guys need to stick at it, all right. If you don't like drinking milk, then I don't know what else to suggest. You're just going to have to stick to your water, I guess. But, um, yeah, snacking on nuts throughout the day. I might have some sandwiches or something. On an evening, uh, I might order a Domino's pizza, pepperoni passion, uh, some salted caramel ice cream, or I might just have a nice big steak dinner, or I might have some pasta. Uh, anything you want, guys. That's the good thing about bulking and being in a calorie surplus is that you can basically just eat whatever you want all right whenever you want now the downside to it is you're going to put on a little bit of fat all right if you've got six pack abs they're going to start to look a bit soft all right but just like a strong man once said to me six packs are for skinny teenagers and crackheads all right i always found that really funny I stopped worrying about looking lean guys and having six packs when he told me that. That six packs were for skinny teenagers and crackheads. I started focusing more on getting bigger and being able to fill out my uh, my favourite shirts, so to speak, became more of an importance to me. But um, it's that simple guys, you just have to be in a calorie surplus, alright? And yeah, you're going to look, um, excuse me, a little bit soft as the weeks go by. But as soon as you start to feel insecure and not like the way you're looking, you can just go on a cut and cut it all back and um, see what muscle uh, you're left with. But um, yeah, guys, it's it's really straightforward, you know. And where strength comes in, you just need to make sure you're in the gym. You're doing those heavy compound movements, you know, your squats, your deadlifts, your clean and jerks, your snatches, your weighted dips, your weighted pull-ups, chin-ups, um, all that good stuff, all right. But one thing I do want to mention is about sleep, all right. You can get all the calories in, you can do all the training sessions, but if you are not getting quality sleep, then you can kiss goodbye to bulking up. And gaining any any muscle all right if you have poor sleep you are just not going to get anywhere all right and we live in a time where people seem to really struggle now to get quality sleep because they're messing around on the phones or they're just full of stress 
uh, it's terrible, you know, or they're waking up four or five times a night because they need a piss, or they're just being disturbed for whatever reason, um, you know, get yourself some blackout blinds, make sure that room is pitch dark, chuck your phone in the drawer, make sure you're not watching too much TV before you go to bed, read a book, just try your best to relax yourself, guys, this is going to be the key thing that I can tell you that will help you put on muscle is you need to make sleep a priority and you need to make sure you are getting quality sleep. Notice that key word there is quality. You need to make sure you're getting quality sleep, all right? Then you will build muscle. Another thing is to make sure that your stress levels are at a low, all right? You do not want to be suffering with stress and anxiety day in day out stress is a bodybuilder's worst nightmare when it comes to building muscle and couple that with poor sleep you've just got a recipe for disaster all right it's just going to make you it's going to make life harder for you guys if putting on muscle and bulking up is is what it's all about for you so easy question to answer guys make sure you're in a calorie surplus if you can't eat five to six solid meals a day you need to get a blender and you need to start blending up your calories, all right? Buy yourself a whey protein. Make sure you're, um, you're putting those eggs in your shakes, your full-fat milk, your bananas, your peanut butter, your honey. I can go on and on and on with recipes that you can use to um, add calories to your shakes. But uh, while we're on that subject, guys... Um, if you leave me a comment below, all right, there is a guy by the name of Perfection. He's been a subscriber of mine for a long, long time. Uh, he'll be able to fill you in on loads of different recipes, all different types of calorie-dense foods that you can be thinking about taking. So look out for him in the comment section. He's like an encyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to training and dieting and all that good stuff, guys. So look out for him down below. So yeah, calorie surplus. Make sure you're doing those heavy compound lifts in the gym. And the absolute most important thing of all is make sure you are getting quality sleep. If you get your sleep right, you will grow. All right. That's all there is to it. Uh, supplementation, guys. You know, make sure you're getting plenty of zinc, magnesium, uh, vitamin D3. Make sure that your body is actually absorbing these supplements. Get on some creatine monohydrate. I've been taking creatine monohydrate for years. I seem to respond to it really well. Um, if you're interested in the creatine that I take, just drop me a comment below and I'll, and I'll let you know what that is. But um, yeah, guys... It's really that straightforward. I don't need to go into it that much. But um, I hope that answers some questions for you. If you want to ask me anything else regarding this subject or you've got some questions regarding other topics, then drop those questions below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like, let me know what you think. As always, guys, train hard, look after yourselves and see you next video. All the best, guys.